Hi everyone, I'm Grishma, a technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems. In this video, we are going to explore an exciting new capability that we've recently introduced. It's the ability to orchestrate the deployment of Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense Virtual directly from multi-cloud defense controller. Here's what we'll cover in this video, a quick overview of the feature and followed by a detailed walkthrough and then architecture diagrams showing how deployments looks like in AWS and Azure, and finally a demo so you can see it in action. Before diving into the feature, let's talk about the reality of deploying virtual firewall auto scaling in cloud today. While cloud technology is powerful, deployment is often anything but simple, right? So there are so many challenges that organizations are facing when trying to implement these solutions in cloud. Uh, one of them is the complex manual process. Even in 2025, deploying your virtual firewalls isn't a one-click process. There's a lot of intricate configurations that needs to happen behind the scenes, which leads us to the DIY, do-it-yourself, uh, cloud architecture challenges. Teams are often forced to become cloud experts overnight, building VPCs, subnets across multiple availability zones, and configuring routing, creating security groups, load balancers. It's like being handled the car parts and told to build a Ferrari. Technically possible, but requires expertise, right? And the result of it is the deployment friction. What should take hearts sometimes drags on for weeks due to minor misconfigurations. And when it's all done manually, errors are inevitable. And as you all know, single misconfigured route table or a security group can break our entire security posture. So we need multi-cloud expertise. Uh, it's not just about the firewalls anymore. Teams are expected to master uh, different cloud providers like AWS, Azure, GCP, and Oracle. Each has their own uh, APIs, own services, their own terminology, and their best practices. And organizations often find themselves needing to either hire specialists or spend months training their existing teams. While auto-scaling virtual firewalls promises different benefits like, uh, for example, agility or the cost optimization, but these deployment challenges can become a real roadblocks. Cisco recognized these pain points and addressed them head on with Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense. I think I already mentioned Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense a couple of times in the video, but if you are unfamiliar with Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense, it's a cloud-delivered security platform that lets you protect workloads and the resources across different uh, public cloud providers like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and the Oracle Cloud from a single controller. I will leave a link to the Multi-Cloud Defense official page and the dedicated YouTube channel that we have in the description box. Uh, check them out if you would like to know more about Multi-Cloud Defense. Talking about this new feature, so with this new integration, we are now enabling multi-cloud defense to fully orchestrate Cisco FTDV deployments across cloud providers, right? So with this feature, you can now automatically create all the cloud infrastructure, um, VPCs, subnets, route tables, security groups, load balancers, or VPC pairings, or VNet pairings. All these different cloud resources will be created by the multi-cloud defense controller for you. Right, and it it also simplifies the routing and peering setups, removing the complexity and reducing the errors. Um, not just that, it will also auto register FTDB devices to CDFMC, which is Cloud Delivered Firewall Management Center, for seamless policy management. It will also enable the native auto scaling, uh, ensuring your FTDB instances scale in and scale out based on real time traffic and health. Right. Lastly, to streamline the licensing, we are now supporting both FTDB existing license model and also an hourly based licensing model, which Multicloud Defense is using today, giving the customers more flexibility. OK, question that some of you might already have, like why this matters, right? This feature is all about removing the complexity and saving the time. Think about how easy it is today to deploy a Multicloud Defense gateway. Right, fully automated, cloud agnostic, and fast. Uh, if you ever deployed a multi cloud defense gateway, you would have agreed with me here. So, that's the same experience that we are now bringing to the FTDV deployments. Some customers and organizations prefer to use Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense, aka FTDV, as their enforcement point. And now they can without compromising on automation or the simplicity. So, here's what's happening under the hood. 
end-to-end -end automation of FTDB deployments from launching instances to setting up load balancers, setting up routing, peering, NAT, security zones, all will be deployed and configured by the multi-cloud defense controller. And cross-cloud consistency, right? Same workflow, whether you are in AWS or in Azure or in different cloud provider, uh, it, the, the workflow remains the same, reducing the need to learn multiple platforms. And operational benefits like health monitoring, auto replacement of unhealthy instances, software upgrades and downgrades, and initial configuration are all managed by the controller. We also provide the seamless CDFMC integration. Multi-cloud defense controller will also do the interface configurations, will create the device groups, access control policies, routing, objects. Everything is automatically created. And if you would like to use the existing access control policy, you can use the existing access control policy or create the new ones. Let's take a quick look at how the architecture looks like. This is in AWS. Multi-cloud defense controller orchestrates a service VPC, transit gateway, gateway load balancer, gateway load balancer endpoints, and associated routing and all of it. And this is how the architecture looks like in AWS when you deploy a FTDB using multi-cloud defense. This is in Azure, a similar setup to AWS. The deployment of load balancers, service VNet, firewalls, and the VNet pairings all will be taken care of by the multi-cloud defense controller here as well. No matter the cloud, the experience is identical, same workflow, same results. That's the power of being cloud agnostic and multi-cloud defense controller will provide that cloud agnostic behavior. Let's jump into the demo and see how easy it is to deploy Cisco FTDVs in AWS using multi-cloud defense controller. Okay, so this is security cloud control platform from where you can manage different security products of Cisco. Multi-cloud defense is one of them. You will be managing multi-cloud defense from security cloud control. So let's click on multi-cloud defense. And here, if you see, these are the different options to create or to deploy FTDB or the multi-cloud defense gateways. You need to click on infrastructure and then go to gateways. These are all the existing gateways that I already have in my account. I'll click on add gateway and here I'll choose the CSP account. I'm choosing my AWS account here to deploy the FTDB and gateway type here. If you observe, we have two different kinds of gateway types. One is multi-cloud defense gateway or the FTDB gateway. So I'm choosing FTDB gateway here and you can add any name and description and instance type. We support three different instance types here. And you can set minimum and maximum number of instances that you would like to have and click on next. And here you can choose FTDB version. So the point to be remember here is we are supporting version number um, 76 and above. So I'm choosing 76 for this deployment and you can uh, choose access control policy from here. As I mentioned before, you can either choose an existing access control policy or you can create a new one from here. I'm choosing a default access control policy that I already have on my CDFMC. And you need to enter the password for your FTDB. And here, if you choose, we are supporting two different models. One is uh, smart licensing, which is existing FTDB licensing model and a hourly based licensing model that multi-cloud defense is currently using. Here, I'm going with a smart licensing model. Uh, you can choose performance tier from here and uh, different. you can add different license types. You need to choose the region in which you wanted to deploy your FTDB. I'm choosing US East one and choose your VPC. Here I'm choosing this VPC that I wanted to deploy the FTDB in and also key pair so that it will attach this key pair to your FTDB instances and gateway IAM role. And after verifying it, you can just click on next and next. So you can, you can just review all the information from here, name, gateway type, minimum and maximum number of instances, uh, the policy that you attached, uh, FTDB version, uh, licensing and all of it. You can check everything. And if everything looks good to you, you can click on finish. Once you clicked on finish, it will start deploying FTDB in the AWS account in the VPC that you mentioned. And uh, once it is up and running, uh, it will onboard the FTDB to the CDFMC as well. And it will take a few minutes to get the FTDB up and running in the cloud provider. 
if you observe here now this FTDV is in enabling state after few minutes it will be active pending and then active so this is now active pending while the FTDV instance is getting active let's go to the AWS console and check the FTDV instance so this is the AWS account that I used I'll go to instances and here I'll search for my instance uh, which is demo FTDV okay so this is the instance that we created or deployed using the multi-cloud defense. You can see all the details of the instances from this page. And different interfaces that are attached to the FTDV. Security groups, etc. Let's wait for FTDV to be up and running. Once it is up and running, I'll also show you CDFMC um, where we will have the FTDV onboarded. Okay, after a few minutes, our FTDV is in active states. It's in 7.6 version. You can click on this FTDV to see all the details from this page. So now let's go to CDFMC and see if the FTDV is onboarded to our CDFMC or not. So this is my CDFMC that is linked to my SEC, Security Cloud Control. So if you go to devices, this is the device group that my multi-cloud defense controller created demo ftdv1 which currently has one uh, ftd instance uh, it is showing this exclamation mark because it is not getting any real traffic the interfaces don't have any traffic passing through them uh, but you can click on this and see all the details of the interfaces so these are all these interfaces are pre-configured by the multi-cloud defense controller so inside interface, outside interface, VNI interface, and the security zones are pre-configured for you and attached to these interfaces. And also the routing will be pre-configured for you. You can see all the details of the device from this page, like the uh, licensing or the, the access control policies or the platform settings policies or the NAT policies that are attached to this particular FTDB instance. And whenever there is a requirement of instances scaling in or scaling out, the multi-cloud defense controller will take care of it and also deploys the new instance or destroys the existing one based on the health and uh, traffic. Yeah, that concludes our demonstration of deploying Cisco FTDV from multi-cloud defense controller. Thanks for watching. Uh, with this new integration between Cisco multi-cloud defense and Secure Firewall Threat Defense Virtual, we are making cloud firewall deployments smarter, faster, and also simpler across multiple clouds. Um, you can find all the helpful links and the documentation and other resources in the description below. Um, see you in the next one. Thank you.